Hello and welcome. You join us on Sunday the 28th of May. Um, the um, MLS team of the season has finished and it's now time for the Turkish team to come in, Turkish league team. So we will have a look at that today, see who is involved, see what kind of cards they've got. And obviously this is all against the backdrop of the end of the Premiership season. Currently we have Leicester, Everton and Leeds fighting for their own survival for that season. Right, so let's have a look at what we've got. Um, look at it so far, we have new daily objectives obviously, as normal. We've got the Appender... Um, Foot champs reward thing there. We have a 90 English right mid Nathan Redmond, obviously formerly of Southampton and various other clubs. He is a four star, four star right mid, left mid striker and left wing. That is a uh, flexible combination of positions that he can play. Now, I mean, it's a it's a pretty good card with some points. Obviously, the reactions and composure are a little low. Um, we know that all, and apart from the very top players, are going to have that kind of element. But he has got some very good points as well. Obviously, the agility, the balance, 94 dribbling is a strong stat. Passing is good. Vision is good. Shot power and attacking positioning, really good. Acceleration, brilliant. 99 acceleration on a 5-8 frame. Is going to make him nippy and quick like anything. So, you have to score five goals using English players in squad battles on semi-pro or rivals, etc. Assist five goals by anybody. Yeah. Score and assist using English players in at three separate squad battles matches on semi-pro difficulty. And win seven with minimum one Super League player in your team. So, I would just do some a squad like this. Literally, we'll move out of my Bundesliga squad. Great, a Redmond squad. I don't know who I've got Turkish League at all. Actually, I think I've got... Have I got the Ozil card still? Or the... Yeah. We would put in probably... Rashika on the left wing. Maybe Ozil, to be honest. Maybe the Musa to make it three to get that stronger link between them. I don't know if I can put Ozil as, as a normal midfielder. I can't, but I can put him as a right mid. So we could do something like that just to boost them up and play them that way. And then just put in English players around them all. One, two, three, English. So we could put Kane up top. And then have a midfield of Gerard Phillips. And then, yeah, just fill in the back line with other English cards that you've got. Obviously, everybody's got a slight variation of the cards they've actually still got in their squad at the moment. Or they've swapped out. We've got a Trent for sure. And there we go. We can, to be honest, we could just pick an icon in gold, to be honest. And uh, we'll put Kazias there. So, yeah, pretty much not full chem, obviously, but strong chem. Um, all the Turkish League guys are on one, which will boost them a little bit, but they're still decent cards. And they're still certainly enough to get through. Um, what's, the, what's the phrase I'm looking for? To get through squad battles and matches on semi pro difficulty. That is what. We shall knock through that objective with. Should be pretty easy to do, to be honest. So that's a Nathan Redmond right wing card. To be honest, I thought there would be like a player for... You get an extra player for completing one of the objectives as you go. But it just looks like it's just the one player. The premium gold, the gold pack, mixed players pack and a small prime gold players pack overall for that. Um, we have, we're on day 10 of this. We get eight league earned players. Obviously, we still have the league earned team of season players in packs. So, that's a good thing to get. Obviously, everybody should always be doing this uh, daily SPC. That's what we are. Ah, we also have a decent looking Sergei 
Oliveira. Being um, Portuguese, obviously he'll link with any other Portuguese players. You've got Bernardo Silva, Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo, um, the PSG left back that I can't remember the name of right now. But flare passes, outside of foot shot traits. He's got decent pace, decent shooting-ish, apart from the finishing stat. Passing is above 93 for everything. The dribbling is... To be honest, the dribbling does need an engine. The agility, the balance, and the dribbling would boost up high. He's got pretty good defensive stats as well. High, high work rates, full stuff. That's a decent card. It's going to be 84, I reckon. 83 with two 85s. Again, it's good. If you have Portuguese players in your team, it will link up with him. If you don't, it's just a good card to get, generally. What else do we have today? We've still got Kante, we've still got Nkunku. I am not going to go near that unless it's cheap. It's not cheap, I'm not going to go near that. But that is there. We've got the daily login here. And that is probably going to be everything, I reckon. Um, who are we going to look for for this? Um, just a, a low rated off league player. Let's see what we get. Nothing else going on over there. Any new icon today? No, no new icon. So let's grab. See what's sold here. So it looks like today we've got the, the Super League team of the season. We've got the 88 hero pick that we looked over. And to be honest, I think it's a little expensive. Given all the team of the season cards that are in packs now, the chance of you getting something that's useful within that is minimal. Um, we've got the Oliver SPC, which looks good. We've got the Nathan Redmond objective card, which looks decent as well. And we've got the daily login SPC, which is always a good thing to do. Even if you're just loading FIFA up on your phone just to get it done, it's always a good option. What's this? Oh, random. Yes, I needed him. So, yeah, that looks like everything today. So we will open the small packs that we've got here and see should anything blue walk out. Then we'll have a quick look at the Super League team that's been released. And yeah, go from there. So, should I have the uh, 8 league earn players and the 81 double pack here. So, there's the 81 double. Please a blue. Please a blue. Please a blue. Not a blue. Not even lights up. It's going to be, I don't know, to Raimi and Goosens. He's down. So, yeah, the, we can expect the uh, Turkish team of the season to have who's out in Turkey at the moment. Uh, there's the league gun. We're probably going to get... Mertens is 84 gold card, so he's probably going to get one. We'll probably get... Not even a lights up for that. It's a Voland. So, no blue, no lights up. Awful pack. Um, there'll probably be an Akadi card. Um, Valencia. He's out there. He'll probably get... I don't, to be honest, I don't know beyond that. Barini's out there. Um, who's the keeper? I can't remember the name of the keeper as well. But we'll have a look now. Let me just check that everything is done. Yeah, that looks like everything I've got there. So probably we have a 10 coin pack. That's good. These are all just the random things trying to encourage people to spend money. So we do the 10 coin packs. See, they put the 10 coin pack in to get people to visit the store. Because if the 10 coin pack wasn't there, you you may just happily not go to the store and leave it. But if they if they get, what, 100,000 people to go to the store to go to the 10 coin pack, you're going to get 10 of those or whatever spending money that they wouldn't normally spend. So it's just a numbers thing to 10 people in. And it's not, it's just, it's just a not great it's not a good idea, in my opinion. Business-wise, yes. I just don't like it, just generally. What's in there? Neves can go. And 
I don't even know where I was going to go after that. Somewhere I was going to go after that. Oh yeah, the Turkish League team. Let's go here. Item releases. And then we can have a look. Should be first or second window up once the actual content has loaded. There we go. What, is there only that many? Okay, so we've got a 93 Valencia. Perfect pace, 99. Barini left wing, probably going to be other positions as well. Actually, we could just go in the other way. Go in the, not the back door way to look at it, just the away from the, so Super League team of the season. This way we can actually look at the cards and the stats behind the front numbers. Team of the season, team of the season, team of the season. And concepts on. Okay, so there are 10. Except Redmond is the objective and Oliveira is the SPC. So, Valencia 99 pace has a 5-star skill moves, a 3-star weak foot. Lots of positions as well. Perfect pace, good shot power, decent dribbling. Again, reaction composure lower. Very good in the air. Power free kick, power header, outside of foot shot trait. That's decent. Barini... Lots of positions as well. Can be a striker. I would play him as striker. Yeah. Good strength, good aggression, good jumping and heading. Defensive awareness is massive as, as for a striker attacking card. What? Traits? Fitness, fl flair, 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 basically. Cardi's got another good card. Five star weak foot on him, perfect vision, perfect short passing, vertic curve, perfect composure, perfect attacking positioning. That's going to be a nice card. Yep, like that card. Merton's solid again, reactions a little down, composure still 90s, good 99 acceleration as well. Five star skill moves as a cam is good. Redmond, we got a die who's the enforcer in midfield, solid. And then the keeper, the right back, who's already had a Silver Stars card, I think. That's him. And then the one that everybody's going to get. So there we go. That's what we got today. Um, Super League Team of the Season, Hero Pick, Oliver, SPC, Daily Login, and Nathan Redmond Objective. So if you've got something good from your eight League Earn player pack, let me know below. If not, I will speak to you this time tomorrow on Monday's afternoon's content. Thank you for watching. Hope you've had a lovely bank holiday weekend here in the UK. And I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.